Hi, welcome back everyone. I'm Seth Roth, and I know you are probably planning on seeing a big Skyrim playthrough right now. And I'm, this is technically my apology video for that. I have some good news and some bad news, and I really do need your guys' input to decide on what happens next. Now, I've seen a lot of popular YouTubers doing their cursory hat tip to Skyrim, right? Uh, a lot of the big YouTubers will have their 120 episode playthrough, but it's just vanilla Skyrim, right? They're, they'll play through as a mage, or as a thief, or as a fighter, and aside from their commentary, that's really all the variety you get, and to me that seems kind of boring. Well, I have had a lot of fun developing this power-leveled character build and running through it with you guys in Skyrim, I've created something new that I think you guys will enjoy. I have recently figured out how to mod your game in Skyrim. So you can add in modules that custom coders have built that you can add on to the vanilla game to make changes to do just about whatever you want. It's insane. One of my favorites is called Random Start, where your character randomly starts in over 400, one of 400 different locations throughout Skyrim. You don't have to sit in that cart for 20 minutes waiting to start building your character every time you start a new playthrough in Skyrim. You can start off literally as a hunter in a camp in the middle of nowhere, or start off in one of the guilds. Which for me, because I want to make these playthroughs that are more custom, right? Especially with uh, Baldur's Gate 3 coming out soon. And with all of the activity around Dungeons and Dragons lately, I really want to build some Skyrim playthroughs that are closer to Dungeons and Dragons. In, how the, in the character development, and how the magic works, and the theme of the, of the build. And I found a bunch of mods that actually do that. For example, I've put together a batch of mods so that you can actually do a druid playthrough through Skyrim, right? Using druid magic, summoning beasts and creatures with a survival challenges on the side, similar to Fallout 4's survival level of difficulty, so that your character is really like at one with nature and living and surviving and being a part of nature as opposed to just running through without any sleep, food, water, and being impervious to cold in the middle of Skyrim. I'm working on another playthrough right now that's modded so that you can be a necromancer with multiple undead, like a small army backing you up when you go up against a bandit camp or whatever it is you're going against in Skyrim. You can actually be a fully fledged necromancer, not just have that one cursory undead that, you, that is just a slightly tougher version as you level up in Conjuration. What's more, it really wasn't that hard once I figured out which buttons to press and which systems to install. I could even do a playthrough showing you guys how to build your own modded playthroughs so you can actually customize this stuff and play with it yourself. So like I said, that's the good news, is I figured out how to create custom, how to customize your Skyrim experience to be what you want. So you can add in survival, druid elements, necromancer elements. You can even be a monk, because in, in Baldur's Gate 3 coming out, you still can't play as a druid. You still can't play as a necromancer. You still can't play as a monk. But I have found Skyrim mods that will let you do all of that, and you can game your little heart out in the Skyrim universe. Now for the bad news. While I was having a lot of fun and figuring out which mods work together without causing glitches that crashes the game, I may have accidentally deleted the power level character that I was building for this playthrough. And yeah, so that is a problem. Basically, I would like to know which of these two paths you guys would like me to take? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want to see me continue with a vanilla Skyrim playthrough showing you how to power level your characters, which is a lot of fun, and I don't mind spending a Saturday morning to get back to where that character was when I deleted the profile, because it was only like three hours into the playthrough. I, I can do that on a Saturday morning, pick up on the next episode just like nothing ever happened, and you guys can enjoy all that. Or I've already recorded a bunch of Druid playthroughs just to as I was testing and figuring out how it would work, and just, so far it's come along, coming along very well. If you guys like, I can start showing those modded playthroughs and just leave this as it is. Or I can do both. I don't know. I need to know what you guys, what you guys want, what you guys want to learn, what you guys want to see and enjoy when you're going through these playthroughs. So let me know in the comments below what you guys would like to see more. Do you want to see some modded playthroughs that will be able to bring in gaming styles that you can't even enjoy in Baldur's Gate 3 yet? Or would you guys like to see me dive back into some of the uh, vanilla Skyrim strategies that you guys already have installed and can already pick up and play? As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, 
And as a special treat, today I'm, I'm dropping two videos. The first one is actually the first episode of the Druid playthrough, so that you guys can see what some of these mods look like and what kind of a playthrough you can choose between, right? You've already seen plenty of the Battle Mage playthrough, so here's the first episode of the Druid playthrough for you guys to check out. Also, I want to thank you guys for being patient with me during this process, uh, particularly if I get into modding. There will be a couple of learning moments where things might go wrong because basically you're getting into computer programming at that point when you start modding and putting programs together. And I can teach you guys how to do like five or ten mods without a lot of pro problems in your game, but I'm shooting for applying 40, 60, 80 mods to a single game and still have it run without crashes. That's my goal. And I would love to share that journey with you guys as well. But like I said, I don't know what you guys want. So feel free to let me know in the comments below. And uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. And uh, take care.